Good evening, YouTube. Welcome to another edition of Sonoran Reef. In this episode, we're going to be talking about the restocking plan, how things currently sit, where we're going to go from here. And before I forget, just a reminder, please like and subscribe this video. Uh, once we have 50 subscribers, we're going to be giving away the Innovative Marine Gourmet Grinder to one of those 50 subscribers. So please don't forget to like and subscribe. But now, here's the rest of the video. So everybody, here we are at the Sonoran Reef. It's been about two months since we introduced the first fish back into the system. As some of you might remember, this tank had marine velvet, and if you're interested in learning more about that, how I got it and how we treated it, you can go back and take a look at the other videos, but this video is specifically about what's currently in the tank, how the tank currently sits. So we're going to go ahead and go through the current tank inhabitants and kind of give you a rundown of what's in here and where I'm looking to go from here. Ultimately, I'm looking for a really good just community reef tank where I can keep just about anything without worrying. So here's our first fish. This is the purple tang, the first of the survivors, the one fish I'm really glad survived. Great reef inhabitant, very calm, very non-territorial, especially for a tang. Here's the angel fish, the flame angel. He also is one of the survivors. He's probably the most uh, spunky of the survivors in the current fish in the tank. So forgive that noise in the background. But anyway, a little spunky, just like he is. Alright, next we have the Coral Beauty. The Coral Beauty actually has a scar from the ordeal. But another great fish. And then finally we have the Lawnmower Bunny, who, he's a pig, we call him Jabba the Hutt. So, here you can see all the fish eating nori. Um, just kind of thought, it was kind of hard to get videos of each individual fish, so I went ahead and did this to kind of let you kind of get an idea of everything that's currently in the tank and how they interact with each other. So, this is basically a small blueprint of what I'm looking for the tank to look like when it's complete. Just all very passive, easygoing fish, um, probably not looking to do anything like triggers. Even tangs, even though they're my favorite fish, I'm a little bit hesitant about putting them back into the aquarium. If I do, and I do that in my plan, I'm definitely going to have to do them last, and probably a couple at a time. I don't think that the purple tang is going to be um, have any behavior issues, but I am a little bit worried about uh, behavior issues with each other. So let's go over the new fish we have in the tank. Okay, these are the two little clown fish that I got when I traded the um, flame clowns that I had, the mated pair. Here's a little angel fish. And for the life of me, I can't remember what the name of this angelfish is right now, but I absolutely think it's stunning. I love those bright neon tips around the fins and just really love the coloration. He was a new addition as well as the clownfish. And finally, the latest new addition is this Amphius. Now, as I talk about restocking the tank, rather than just, you know, looking at me, I thought I would share some of the corals and other inhabitants of my tank. So, restocking this tank, I'm going to take a little bit of a different tack on. Um, this is just an introduction to that process, like I said, but ultimately I think it's going to be very unique, and I'm looking for a lot of encouragement and support. So, you guys might have seen in my videos, I'm not the thinnest person on the planet. And that's something I really want to work on. And I think that restocking this tank is going to give me the motivation I need to get there. So, here's the plan. 
for this first month, I'm going to purchase a fish. And I'm going to be doing that tomorrow. I'm going to be restocking the quarantine tank. However, in order to put the fish from the quarantine tank into the main display tank, which you should quarantine a fish for at least 30 days, I'm going to be requiring myself to go out and do a half hour walk at least five days a week for four weeks. So I'm not looking to go crazy. I'm not going to be going to the gym and killing myself. We're going to be starting slow. And if I can get out there and do a nice half hour to an hour walk every evening, then my reward at the end of four weeks is going to be putting something new in the Sonoran Reef. So I'm kind of curious what you guys think of that. But I appreciate you watching this video. And hopefully I've been able to share a little bit of my tank with you. So, until next time, thank you for watching the Sonoran Reef.